Hey everybody, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to instantly stylize your video using optical color overlays. Now what are optical color overlays? Well, that's, a, that's a mouthful right there. It's exactly what it says. These are light effects that were shot on camera that you can drag in a quick time format over your timeline, use a blending mode, and you've now affected the look and the color and the feel of your video. And it's that simple. So these are the overlays I'm talking about. These are from our company, Rampant Design, and I shot these on the Red Epic and these are 5K, 4K, and 2K, and there's over 500 of them. So you have plenty of variety and different levels of aggressiveness and um, saturation. So we have soft light, which are very subtle, um, pretty you know, colors that are slight that you, you drop on your, on your video, you get the slight hint of color. We have hard light, which is the opposite of soft light, which is more aggressive and a lot more color, a lot more saturation, and a lot more movement. And gradient, which is a combination of like colors and uh, carefully selected colors that you can drop on top of your video and instantly change the look. Let me jump on over to rampantdesigntools.com here real quick and go down to Studio Light Overlays, which is our optical light product. And as you can see here, like I said, we shot it on the red. It's 2K, 4K, and 5K. And you've, if you've already bought this product, thank you. Like I always say, you're my new BFF. And if you haven't bought it, it's okay. Go ahead and check the description of this video. I'm giving you three clips of every type of light overlays that we offer. So you're getting nine clips, all in 4K, so you can follow along with us and you can take a look for yourself about the quality and, and really what it does to your video. All right, so enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro. Now, before I uh, go any further, I do need to, note, to make a note that um, you don't need Premiere Pro to use these products. They're QuickTime based, so you can use it in any editor or compositing app that you, that you like. Premiere Pro is my, my personal favorite editor, but uh, my wife, who's the other half of Rampant, she loves Final Cut Pro. So, you know, I know that's kind of uh, like a Michigan fan and an Ohio State fan living together, but we make it work. So, anyway, I'm going to jump in here into Premiere, and I'm going to show you exactly how amazing these light overlays can can dramatically help you out and it takes no time so first off let me just show you a, a scene that I cut together that's very much like any clothing commercial you see a grocery store commercial a bank commercial any kind of family oriented spot you see these all over the place um, and you'll actually see our elements in quite a few of national spots you'll see them in commercials you'll see them in music videos uh, there's a title sequence for main television shows network shows out there that use our, our overlays all the time um, it's it's a great way for an editor to immediately ch change and alter the look of the video without spending a lot of time or resources. So, like I said here, I've got this I've got this pretty cool edit, and it's fine. And with some music and perhaps a VO, it's going to be great. But again, I'm always looking for that extra little something that's going to make this different, that's going to make this pop, and I don't want to distract from the message. So that's where these optical overlays come in. I'm going to start off with what we call soft overlays, like I talked about before. And like I said, these are QuickTime movies. So if I double click on here and I just drag through, you can see there's this nice little beam of light here and uh, it's not too distracting. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna just see, hmm, see which one do I want here. This is pretty cool. I want this one. I like this nice purple and, and lighter colors here. I, I like it. It's just, it's, it's pretty here and this, it kind of goes with the, with the scene here. So as you can see, it's like, wow, I've now just covered up my video. So what do I do? No problem. You just double click on it. Go to Effect Controls, change the Blend Mode from Normal to Screen. That's it. You're done. Now you can dial in the opacity. If it's too much or, or too little for you, you can dial in the opacity. Like maybe the, the director's like, it's cool, but it's a little much. So you just dial it into where you're happy, and you're good to go. See? Just real subtle. Now, I need to uh, make note here that this is a 4K image, much larger than my HD timeline. So what I can do is I can scale it down like so, and just, keep, and just reposition it and scale it to what I like. Or, if I don't want to do that, I'll hit Apple Z, I'll right click and say scale to frame size. Now if you want to use it as is, you just scale to frame size and you can go. Or if there's a certain section of the frame that you like better than others, like you like the purple but you're not really hip to the white, that's cool. Because it's 4K, you can reposition. I'll show you real quick. I'll take the scale to frame size off, which brings this back to 100% scale. And uh, let's just move this around a little bit. See, you've got plenty of room to move around before you get to the edges of the frame. Go ahead and undo that real quick. I'm gonna go back to scaling the frame size. Because when I shot these, I shot them in a 16 by nine format and I really wanted to capture all the edges and make sure the lights come around the edges and really kind of bleed into your shot. So there you go, you've got this really great little look here and I'm gonna trim it up a little bit as it starts right around here. 
boom, and I'm going to cinch that up to my edit. And there you go. First shot's done. Cool. All right, well, what about these next shots? No problem. I'll just uh, I'll grab some clips that I haven't used yet. I'll bring them over. And again, it's larger than the frame, so I'm going to go ahead and scale to frame size. Now, when I was back over here on the original clip, on the original soft light clip, if I'm going to do a lot of these effects, I don't necessarily want to go through, double click, right click, or, or change the blend mode. So what I can do is I can go over here to opacity, I can hit copy, and then I can just go over to this other clip and hit paste. So now it's going to have the same blend mode attached to it, same blend mode settings. So roll it back. Oh, very cool. And now for my last one, I'm just going to, once again, drag it over. I'm going to right click saying scale to frame size. I'm going to cinch it up and I'm going to hit paste. So my blend mode is applied and I'm going to roll through. And, and there you have it. You've instantly stylized your video with very little timing. If, if you were doing this on your own and you weren't listening to me yap on about it, it would take you probably 10 seconds to do this. Again, you can work on the specific kinds of blend modes you're using. If you're not happy with screen and you want to do something a little bit more dramatic, you can go to add or uh, Adobe Premiere, it's linear dodge. Um, but as you see, it really brings up the white. So if you're working in broadcast, always be careful when you're dealing with add. Um, or we can go to overlay, which is pretty crazy here. Uh, soft light, so you can, I encourage you to play around with the blending modes to, to get the look that you're looking for. I typically use screen and adjust the opacity to get exactly the, the look I want, where I'm not distracting from the shot, but I'm adding to it. That's the idea. We're not, we're not compounding stuff on here. We're not throwing a bunch of ingredients on to try to hide anything. We're trying to make the production value of this go up without having to spend very much money. The idea is to make your clients and uh, your, your employers uh, more, more happy with the, uh, with the end results. So there's soft light. Now, like I told you before, there are two other kinds of light effects in this volume. Like I gave you 500 in this volume. I mean, it's, it's just an unbelievable amount of variety you get in this, in this particular volume. So let me show you what it looks like with harder and uh, gradient lights. So like I said, those are soft lights. I'm going to drag these over here in the timeline. I'm going to just bring over a random hard light clip. And let's look at this. As you see, it's much more vibrant, a lot more saturated. And it's slightly more aggressive of a move. It's not an impact light of any kind. We have a volume called impact light. So if you're looking for hard hitting and aggressive lights, you want to look at those. This is just a little bit more of a movement and a lot more vibrant of a color. So once again, I'll hit paste because I've got my blend mode in there. And as you can see, a lot more color has been translated here. So maybe, you know, for this particular spot, that's, you know, a little much. So we'll just dial back the opacity, but maybe you like the color and, and the behavior of the light. See, there you go. So that's hard light. And then the last to show you is the gradient lights. Same kind of deal. We go ahead and right click and go scale to frame size. You can see it. So here we have these, these multiple colors. There are these nice gradients. So you've got some blue, you've got some nice purples, and you've got a little bit of white. These were all carefully selected, but once again, shot optically. So you get the combination of real light behavior with some beautiful color that you can add to your scene. So once again, I'll hit paste so you can see through it and see Check that out. This is what I love about optical lights. You've got your nice purple here, you've got your blue here, and your white here. You can dial it down just a little bit. But now you've got this beautiful sense of color here right in the middle of your shot. And you can even use it, that worked out great as a transition, which is a great, a nice added bonus. It actually worked well for going from one shot to the next. So as you can see, with very little effort, using a QuickTime overlay file, you can actually dramatically alter and upgrade the look of your, of your video with no effort and very little upfront cost. So let me show you some other examples here. While these wipe on, you can see that this is generic stock footage, but you can see that no matter what kind of uh, video you're working on, whether it's corporate, PSAs, weddings, commercials, spots, music videos, whatever it is you're working on, you can add a little bit of texture and a, and a little bit of character to the scene without distracting from your message. This is not designed to be like, whoa, you know, this is very much a, a little, little bit of spice you're adding on top of, of a meal that you've prepared kind of thing. So that's about it. This is pretty simple. It doesn't get any simpler than literally taking a QuickTime movie, dragging it on top of your files and on top of your timeline, I mean, and changing the blend mode and then just dialing back the opacity if it's a little much. And of course, because this is 4K, we'll scale to the frame size, roll it back. 
and it looks great. It looks like that light effect was in camera, and that's the ultimately what you want. That's why we shoot everything optically. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or tutorial requests, hit us up on Twitter at Rampant Design, or check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash rampantmedia. And of course, you can find more tutorials at rampantdesigntools.com. Until next time, I'm Sean Mullen from Rampant Design Tools. Thanks for watching.